And this is from January 2011 statistics. There's 25.8 million people that have diabetes. Diabetes is the number one cause of renal disease. 8.3 of the population have diabetes. 18.9 million diagnosed, 7 million undiagnosed. 75 million have prediabetes. And they said for every child that was born in the year 2000, one of three will get diabetes, and one of two of those children will be minorities' children. That means all of us and our children, our grandchildren. Diabetes is the seventh deadliest disease in the United States. And I always said, everyone that has diabetes should know what their ABCs are. The ABCs of diabetes mean one, your A1C. Everyone with diabetes should know what their A1C number is. And that is a test that's done like every three months to see how well your sugar is controlled. So a lot of time when my patients come and they bring their log books and they lie, I always say to them, you can't lie to me because I would look at your A1C so I would know how well you're doing. You should know what your blood pressure is. Right now, normal blood pressure is considered 120 over 70. Anything above that is high blood pressure. And I always said, diabetes and hypertension are like twins. You have one, you're gonna see the other. And cholesterol is the first cousin. So if you have diabetes, you have high blood pressure. High blood pressure is the number one, second cause of renal disease. So what can we do about it? I always said, when you go to your doctor, you should be an informed consumer, meaning you should have an idea why you're going and what you need to know. So we all need to be tested for diabetes. We all need to monitor our blood pressure. Most of us, especially Caribbean people, feel when we're feeling fine, we don't need our blood pressure medication. We need to check our blood pressure. My patients tell me, Oh, I use garlic pill or I use garlic. And I always said, well, if garlic is working, show me your numbers. If your numbers are good, then if not, then you have to take your medication. So we need to take our medicine. I always said, invest in a blood pressure monitor so you can monitor your own blood pressure. When you go to the doctor, you should have different numbers that you take at different times that you can say, oh, well, my blood pressure for the past week has been X, Y, and Z. So we need to monitor our blood pressure. We need to monitor our blood sugars. Anyone that has diabetes should be checking their own blood sugars. If you don't check your blood sugar, how do you know your blood sugar is being controlled? A lot of us do not check our blood sugars. We don't go to the doctor. We only go to the doctors when we don't feel well. Sometimes that's a bit too late. If you're waiting for headaches, it's a bit too late. High blood pressure and diabetes are what we need to control. You are the one to control your blood pressure. You are the one to control your diabetes and your cholesterol. The doctors, the nurses, your healthcare team can advise you, can help you but it's in your hands. Most of us need to take our conditions seriously. A lot of times when I meet and I encounter patients, I may ask, do you have diabetes? And most of them would say, so they say. And my thing is, who said that? You have to accept your diabetes, take control of it. There's no cure for diabetes, but it can be controlled. High blood pressure can be controlled, cholesterol can be controlled. But who can control it? Us. We have to take our conditions and manage them. 
The doctors can only help us. I also tell my patients, if you have diabetes, you go to the doctor and you ask the doctor, am I taking any medications to protect my kidneys? If not, you ask the doctor why. And yes, we can speak to the doctor and ask them, why am I not on some medication to help protect my kidneys? Everyone with diabetes should be on medication to help protect their kidneys. Should be on a statin, that means something for cholesterol. Because like I said, they go hand in hand. High blood pressure, diabetes, and cholesterol. So what I want to leave with you today is that these conditions can be controlled. With renal failure, we know it goes in stages. It's a progression, it gets worse. And that means when your kidneys fail, the only thing that's left is what? Dialysis or a transplant. We know what the waiting list is for a kidney transplant. And we all hope that maybe we can find someone whose kidneys can match our bodies so we can accept a kidney. Other than that is dialysis three times a week, four hours each session. When you're on dialysis, you cannot take vacation unless you know that wherever you're going, there's a dialysis center waiting there to accept you and you can afford to pay for it. I had the privilege of going to St. Vincent and visiting the dialysis center that is being developed and I was quite impressed. I think we need a dialysis center, but we also need to acknowledge that renal disease is very serious and we need to take it seriously. And I mean spread the words. Anybody who is at risk for diabetes or high blood pressure, please have it checked. Go to your doctors, ask for a check. Um, kidney disease is a simple test. It's a urine test or a blood test. You go to the doctor and you ask, can I get a urine test to see how my kidneys are doing? And for all the people here, no one dies from diabetes, but we die from all the complications that we get from diabetes. That means it's the number one leading cause of blindness. We can have a stroke. We can get amputations, heart attacks, and dental problems. So we need to take it seriously. Diabetes and high blood pressure. Thank you very much. We thank God for this opportunity to come into your homes, wherever you might be tuning into this broadcast.